Glory be to Jesus. Good morning. This is Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International in London, United Kingdom. It's a blessing again to come your way with God's word of hope for your day today. God still has his eyes on you. Don't give up on yourself. It doesn't matter what is going on. Christ rules in the affairs of men and Christ crosses crisis. This morning, I just want to encourage you from Matthew chapter 14, verse 23 to 25. There was a very interesting incident that occurred, and the lessons there is what I believe will be a source of encouragement and hope for your day today. In Matthew 14, 23, 25, the Bible says, and when Jesus has sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. I love Jesus. He's a man of prayer. He's God the Son, and yet he came on earth and prayed consistently. You can't afford not to be praying. You must be prayerful. The Bible says he has sent the multitudes away. He went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. He's gone somewhere late afternoon and he's been there throughout the night. But the Bible says his disciples were on a boat. Verse 24. And the boat was now in the middle of the sea. Tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary to them. The wind was blowing against them, and the waves was also coming against them, and the boat was capsized, about to capsize. Now in the fourth watch of the night, the fourth watch of the night is 3 a.m. Jesus went to them walking on the sea. Glory be to Jesus. He was walking on the sea. And the Bible says when they saw him, they were afraid. Some of them thought that he was a ghost. And then finally, he walked into the boat. Now, what I want to share with you from here is that they were afraid. They were scared. These were experienced fishermen. They understood what it meant when water comes into a boat. It will sink. It will capsize. And because they were also afraid, it, there's a possibility of a stampede. And then the waves will enter into the boat and then cause it to capsize and all of them will die. The scripture clearly said they were in the middle of the sea. And then they see him coming. They were already struggling with the issue when he saw them and he started coming towards them and he came right there walking on the sea. In other words, he was walking on what they were afraid of. You see, when you begin to walk on something, that means you are exercising your dominion over that thing, your authority over that thing. Jesus came walking on what they were afraid of. In the other, trans, in the other uh, same scenario, in the other narrative in, in the book of Mark and Luke, the Bible says, so Peter even said, Lord, if it is you, then let me come. And so Peter also stepped out and started walking on the sea. And, but then when he saw the wind and the, and the waves, he panicked and almost sank. And Jesus held him and put him back. But what I want you to understand, and the Bible says, and they walked back into the boat. You see, the truth here is that what you are afraid of, Jesus has mastery over it. And so this morning, I just came to encourage you, commit your course to Jesus. If the world was created by the word of God, there is no problem in this world that the word of God does not have a solution for. Because Jesus is the word. When he came, he came walking on what they were afraid of. I don't know what you are afraid of, what you have been scared. But when you call Jesus, he will come walking over it, stepping over it, dominating it, and having dominion over it, and telling you, I am your savior. I can deal with this. There is no other person well qualified to deal with what you are afraid of except Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. And so this day, invite him to your boat. This day, invite him into the situation. This day, call him and when he comes, he's a specialist of impossible situations. He's a master of circumstances and situations. He will step on that challenge. He will step on that sickness. He comes walking on that illness. He comes walking into that trouble and will step on it. The Bible says what they were afraid of, for which they were panicking and crying and knew from their experience that this is the end. He came walking 
on it. He came exercising dominion over that thing. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I present him to you. Learn to call upon him. I don't know what the issue is, whether it's in the family, about the children, about your health, about the ministry, about every aspect of your life. Jesus Christ is still at hand. Just call him. He will come and deal with the situation. There is no problem that Jesus cannot solve. And if he allows you to go through some of them, he will still give you the strength to overcome both ways you will not lose with Jesus and so this morning cheer up you have a savior he comes walking on your fears in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the wind and the waves obey his voice he is the one that spoke and all things came into existence and so believe him and trust him and by his by faith in him he will deal with the issue so that your heart will be at peace at the end the disciples were at peace they were comforted, they were encouraged, they cheered up, and they realized that he came right into the boat. And when he got into the boat, the wind and the waves and the storm ceased, and they went safely, sailed safely to their destination. He came at midnight, at 3 a.m. You see, that time of the night is when you are at your lowest ebb. When man is at his lowest step, you know, the Bible says that work whilst it is day, for the night comes when no man can work. There is a night time in everybody's life. Look, in the middle of the sea, in this thick darkness, where there's no light, and you can't see your way through, sometimes your life is like that. You find yourself in a thick darkness where there's no way out. Jesus comes in, and he comes in walking on your fear and bringing light. He said, I am the light of the world. I pray for you this day that the light of God will shine in your situation will shine in your home and maybe you are listening to me and you don't know Jesus you are contemplating suicide as you hear the sound of my voice may the light of Christ shine to you and call upon him wherever you are the Bible says if you call upon the name of the Lord you shall be saved this morning call on Jesus Christ he will come dealing with the situation there's nothing that is above him he died and rose again triumphantly and he's seated forever in heaven in the position of triumph and is willing to attend to you and this morning i pray in jesus name that the lord hear you the lord hear you in your day of trouble the lord hear you in the day of calamity the lord deal with every fear and god give you peace May the peace of God that surpasses human knowledge and understanding guide and guard your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that God will hear you. God will be merciful to you and God will swiftly attend to you as you call upon him in Jesus' most excellent and holy name. Amen and amen. And until I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International in London, United Kingdom. You are more than a conqueror. You are the head of and not a tail, above and not beneath, it shall be well with you. Have a blessed, fruitful, peaceful, and productive day. Bye-bye.